Hi, Cross C family. This week's words of wisdom are found in Proverbs 6, 16 through 19, which says, There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among the brothers. Now, this section describes what is known as the seven deadly sins, and they're deadly for a variety of reasons, including the fact that they talk specifically about bloodshed, killing relationships, and are viewed by God as abominations. That means that they are worthy of damnation and hell. That's why he hates them. Let's look at the list specifically. First, we see haughty eyes, and that's pride, because high eyes are when a person is looking down upon others. Secondly is a lying tongue. Now lies are speech that are self-preserving and self-serving the proud in their pride. Thirdly, we see hands that shed innocent blood. This is violence and violent actions that are specific and personal. Fourth is a heart that devises wicked plans, scheming or attitudes that are at the core of our being. Fifth is feet that make haste to run to evil. Now, this pursuit of sin is actions that are quick to rush and follow after things that are unholy, bad, or evil. Sixth is a false witness who breathes out lies. Now, in this sense, lies are speech that are harming others via spoken untruths. And then seventh is one who sows discord among the brothers. Now, this is divisiveness, and this is an attitude that stirs up conflict. Now, these seven deadly sins are presented in an interesting structure that moves from the mind, the attitude, through the mouth, which is speech, and to the actions, the hands and feet, and then back up from the actions, through the mouth, and from the mind. However, right in the middle is the attitude of the heart, the fourth deadly sin, because our thinking, speaking, and acting flow from the condition of our hearts. So... Do you want to avoid the seven deadly sins? Then begin by guarding your heart. It is this theme that will, will often be repeated as we follow the words of wisdom and walk with the wise. Have a great day, and God bless you.